Hi guys, welcome back to the Jewish channel. Today we are discussing the second sheep retrovirus disease that is ovine pulmonary adenomatosis or ovine pulmonary adenocarcinoma. So moving <coughs> introduction, it's actually the carcinoma disease that is the cancer, the glandular cancer which is a contagious viral neoplastic disease of the lungs of the sheep. It's also known as Jaxite because it will be having running sickness due to lung insufficiency. Etiological agent is the Jaxite sheep retrovirus belonging to the family Retroviridae. And the genus is Beta Retrovirus. It may infect the cells and make tumors. Susceptible hosts are mainly uh, the sheep, that is aged sheep. Distribution is present in the Europe, Africa, Asia, America, etc. and many countries it is present. Transmission is mainly through the aerosol route or the transmitted of cholesterol, milk, respiratory infected secretions, etc. Incubation period, it may take months or sometimes it may take years or sometimes it may take weeks. Pathogenesis, normal animal come in contact with an acid secretion of infected animal. The virus gain uh, entry into the body or through the cholesterol. Now, oncogenic transformation of type 2 pneumocytes, clara cells and progenitor cells of pulmonary airway epithelia. So, what happens? Type 2 pneumoepithelial cells proliferate at an alarming rate or cancerous rate. So that the proper airway passage will be obstructed by the completely dividing type 2 pneumocytes and clara cells. So, the air passage lumen decreases, its uh, lumen size decreases. So more oxygen will not be getting into the lungs and the lung sufficiency will not be happening so the animal will be having panting or it will have a pander effect so the clinical signs are mainly um, due to the adenocarcinoma they will be having respiratory dis distress and panting and they will be having dyspnea and sometimes there we can hear um, the simple coughing sound that is happening in the lung infection and not the tracheal infection so, secondary infection also develops in the air passage due to the complete destruction of the cilia cells. So, you have to rule out the pasteurlosis in case of Jaxite. So, these nasal secretions, these are frothy nasal secretions coming out of the nose due to the excess of production of exudate materials in the alveolar passage and the tracheal passage. So macroscopic lesions will be mediastinal lymph nodes and the lymph nodes related to the lung will be mainly affected and they will be having hemorrhage and sometimes they may lead to the atrophy of the lymph node and fibrinous pleuritis, secondary pneumonia, necrotic fossae on the lung tissues etc. Lungs actually will not be collapsing when we are opening the cavity, just cavity. The pericardial fluid and perilymph fluids will be hemorrhagic. So these are the, the, this is the adenocarcinomatic tissue, completely fibrosed. So macroscopic lesions will be having on kidneys, liver, spleen, skeletal muscle, etc. Dysentery lymph nodes will be uh, having hemorrhagic uh, portions. Mainly it is concentrated with the lymph nodes and the chest area, the macroscopic lesions will be there. These are the small adenomatosis or adenocarcinoma. See, developing adenocarcinoma. The developing uh, hyperproliferation in the alveolar epithelial cells, type 2 pneumocytes. These are hyperproliferation. See, the adenoma, adenocarcinoma. The adenocarcinoma. This is the nucleus of adenocarcinoma. These are small, small adenocarcinoma started producing are the microscopic lesions mainly happening this is the lungs portion we have seen small small spots it's actually the hemorrhagic and also adenocarcinoma spots so moving to the wheel barrow test that is actually if you are lowering the head of a sheep and whenever the head is lowered we will be getting frothy nasal discharge actually it is referred to as uh, 50 ml you have to get minimum that is actually the quantity then it's Ovine pulmonary adenocarcinoma disease. So, prevention and control is actually by biosecurity measures, proper 
cleaning and proper sanitary measures and uh, taking the aged animal from the young stock that is to be conducted daily thank you